Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. And if you are from Europe and European Union, you are now able for the sponsor of this video, Tessi Supply. You can order over the next two weeks a five pieces combination with a discount of 20%. And depending on what you choose for your Model Y, you can save up to 60 euros depending on which variations you take. So um, we will do the same thing with the Model 3 at the beginning of the month and I'm very glad. So if you want to support my channel, you can order over there with the link down in the pinned comment. Let's start with the video topic today and this is actually very, very nice news. We have good news from the 4680 production side. We do see the different machines down there and one is in the red column, very, very bad quality though. And this is because people are testing this machine from Austin, people are trained and of course, within that case, the production is not so efficient. If we are looking at all the others, we see very nice numbers in over 90%, which is good stuff going out there. Then there's like two that are a bit lower than the 90%. But nevertheless, if you take the average, there is a very, very nice yield and it's not much waste they are producing. And that is the breakthrough here, guys, because that makes it very profitable, very good for Tesla to produce those batteries. And this is not only for the United States and Austin in the factory important, but as well for Germany in the long term when we have the battery cell production ready. Here one more time the plan, not only the cell design that we know now but as well the cell factory um, and then of course the cathode materials and the factory that we will see in Austin and as well the integration inside the car and all that together um, based on the battery day in the past we do know that it will be five times more energy, 16% more range around about six times the power. So that is very important to understand. This is so important for Tesla to further reduce the cost. And that is what we are seeing here. Um, and the integration in the vehicle are already happening right now. And there will be more efficiency in the future when we have the cathode um, factory in Austin. And I'm hoping that this will happen in Germany as well, that at some point they will be um, expanding on this entire location. They have enough space to do that. The focus right now is um, to open the factory and produce cars, but in the long term, they will be further expanding. There's much room to do that so, and I hope that they will um, implement a separate cathode um, factory. So this is pretty much a game, th game changer as we all waited for that for a long time right now. And it is also important to understand that this allows Tesla to further reduce the cost per car. And with that, Tesla could, and I'm saying could if they have to in the future, reduce the prices. Right now, the demand is really so big, they have no reason to do so. But at some point in the future, there might be a point when the wait times are getting shorter, people are not ordering in the masses um, like they have done right now, or in other perspective, the capacity is just way bigger than right now. And with that, Tesla can produce even more cars and then they can create demand by decreasing the prices, still working highly profitable highly um, good with very, very great margins, but they can do that because they reduce the prices of the battery. And that is the key factor here. And I think Tesla is on a very good way to do so. And if they wanted to, they could actually take all other car companies out of business that are currently not having these kind of margins on their EVs. So this is a very good breakthrough. It is very good for Austin, but as well China. It is not only um, for the American continent important, but especially for the factory as well here in Germany, because they are still building there. But I also told you before, they are hiring already people over here. So those people might be moving to the United States training over there. This is um, some footages from inside the Austin factory. So you clearly see there's more stuff gonna, um, being prepared, 
more storage capabilities for pieces of those cars. So that is actually really looking good here. So um, we will see a lot of work happening inside that is pretty much hidden from the um, outside that we usually see. So we are really um, have to, we are really looking forward all for those um, sh shots that people are taking here um, from the inside. So um, again, guys. Austin is pretty much ready to go. I don't know why they haven't started yet, um, if it's formalities or if there are other things that still have to be cleared to get started um, in the coming days. Um, again, there were other people also mentioning that uh, Texas or Austin will not start until the end of the quarter. So uh, we still have to stay patient. And then I'm very excited for the first results of the 4680 battery inside cars range, um, as well as the weight of the car, etc. Um, how it is actually going to look like. So that is going to be very exciting. Um, if there is somebody out there who has actually a Model Y ordered and got a VIN number um, for Austin, please let me know. Just contact me, please. Um, I would really be appreciated to get a contact here to provide for everyone um, very good news about this new product. We also have great news actually from China because in China the export numbers were close to 40,000 cars and the Chinese sales were at 19,000. Again, just to put that in perspective where we were last year, last year, the entire quarter, no, the entire month, of course, was actually 20K, so close to 20K. So we have like a 300% increase here. I mean, from 20 to 60K in January, that is some very good stuff. That is some really great um, results here from China. And as I mentioned as well before, don't underestimate the APAC market, not the Asian Pacific market is very, very strong. The demand over there is very good. So I'm expecting more great demand to come here. Um, not only from the European market, even though, of course, I as a German uh, prefer to focus on the um, European market. Um, but, but again, these 40K that are exported, they are also for other markets and, of course, not only for the European market. Um, there are plenty of places where Tesla went, like to uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, I saw ships. Um, Australia is supposed to get some as well. A lot of stops in Singapore and some that went to Taiwan, but those are coming from Fremont. So thank you very much for being here today. I'm very glad that you are supporting my channel. And if you would like to have more news, I'm also, and speaking German, of course, you can find me on Evolution. And my podcast is as well, Tessie Supply. Thank you very much.